Okay, we're back out here with the XJ, little update. Um, I told you all I was gonna do a little something about my rust, and I did. If you look, I added this door armor. I ordered this door armor here from, uh, from Rusty's to cover up my Rusty. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, what I did here, is I took and I sanded it all down. I actually took a grinder to the crap. Hit it with this product I called POR15. And uh, you can see in here a little bit of it. Right there, some of that, that's just, that still needs to be taken care of. I did the exterior first. Anyways, I did that. Then I sprayed it with some uh, farm implement paint over the PR, POR15. I guess that stands for paint over rust. Then I threw these uh, this door arm around here by, by Rusty's. And then over here in the tail end of it, I put this, this uh, rear quarter bumper integrated by JCR. And that's, dude, that stuff is thick. I mean, you see it there, it's quarter inch, quarter inch plate steel. It's pretty crazy, man. So I'm pretty tickled about that. It's full width. So if I decide to put a cut my fender, I'm gonna have to try to cut a quarter inch steel. But uh, man, I'm real, I'm real happy with it. My opinion, it uh, drastically changed the appearance of my vehicle and uh, made the Jeep look a little nicer, man. So door armors made by Rusty's Off Road. They use these things called rev nuts. They're kind of like a cross between a rivet and a, these two here. I got this one here close to my, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can't see, but right there is where I came through at. It's hitting on my hinge. So I'm gonna have to grind down a, grind down one of my nuts so it'll fit on there and I can do that. The other ones use a rev nut. And this one here was gonna it'll go in fine, but I need somebody on the other side. My arms won't reach all the way around and do both. So alright, that's where we're at, man. Just wanted to do a little update on the XJ. Still really don't have an to be honest, I've had this thing almost three years and until November. She really never had any love. So you know. See that JCR gas tank skid under there? Things just things got a lot of JCR parts on it. You know, right there in right there in red you can see the JCR uh, bumper tie-ins. Like I said, just a lot of JCR parts on this, and uh, I don't regret any of them. They're not cheap, but I don't regret them. Love the bumper. Got the winch in here, but it's I keep it up there just to keep it out of the weather and pull it through the fair lead when I need it. Um, so yeah, I'll do a I'll do a better walk around on the Jeep. I already did a cheesy one just to see if I could do this YouTube stuff. But uh, that was the main thing I wanted to show you guys is are those uh, my new Under Armour. If you remember right, this door here had quite the hole in it. I cut out. This bolt right here is not even holding anything. It's bolted to pretty much nothing. And uh, so yeah, I cut out from here. There's a hole in there like that, man. Then I put that POR15 up in the door as much as I could. I don't know if this is gonna help save this Jeep a little longer, but whatever, man. The rest of it's pretty decent looking. Until I get it out in the woods and beat the crap out of it, man. Um, gonna be doing some frame tie-ins here, or not tie-ins, but frame stiffeners real soon. So, make a video on that. All right, man. Peace. God bless.